South Georgia families have trusted First Southern Bank to provide competitive personal and business banking services. How can we help you? For more information, visit FirstSouthernGA.com. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scott Built, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, our 60 and higher insulation values, thermal pane windows, and energy efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Faye, or Sheridan today. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look at latest in local news. And the news Veterans Day will be celebrated this Wednesday. The public is always invited to come out to Wayne County High School and enjoy a special Veterans Day program that's scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. this Wednesday morning at the high school gymnasium. They do ask that you sign into the front office, but again, everyone's invited. Wayne County has a series of events planned for the day, including the parade in downtown Jessup and, of course, a luncheon at the VFW for the veterans. Again, it all takes place this Wednesday, Veterans Day here in Wayne County and nationwide. This past Thursday, Wayne County celebrated Day for Wayne, in which state and local politicians were on hand to network and enjoy the day. WIFO film on hand had a chance to talk with many who attended the event. Today we hear from our state representative, Chad Nimmer. Well, I came in this morning and helped, uh, I kind of helped Mark Williams gather up some deer hunters and hog hunters out of the woods and uh, came over and met with some of the quail hunting groups as they went out and everybody was just really excited and having a great time this morning. And uh, I did make it around the hay bales and take a shot at a couple of the pheasant flying, so I did take part in that a little bit. Again, it's an important day for Wayne County. Your thoughts on how important a day like this is for Wayne County? You know, Bob, I, I don't know how you put into words um, the importance of day for Wayne. Uh, I think I heard this is the 13th year. This is the fifth year I've been a part of it. And I um, never cease to be amazed at the turnout of the people from across the state and within this community uh, to really bring Wayne County together and show that it's one community moving forward. And uh, just real real proud to be a part of it. As Tommy Williams mentioned, you know, people from Atlanta come down and when they hear Wayne County, and then they can put a picture with the, you know, the with the name. Absolutely. You can come in, you get to see the uh, the quality of the people here, uh, the abundance of resources that are here, re ready for industry to come and continue to grow and move forward. And just uh, hospitality is, uh, I think, one of the driving factors of why people keep coming back. Okay, Chad. Good to see you. Good to see you, Bob. Thank you. And once again, those comments to Chad Nimmer, State Representative. Also in attendance, Jay Roberts, the DOT. He had these thoughts. Uh, you know, right now it's actually gotten very expensive because we've got more money, so we're in there letting a lot of projects now. So a lot of the highway contractors and the vendors that they used for the last several years, they haven't been able to sell anything or get anything done. So right now they're actually raising the prices, and it's all about supply and demand. You know, they're trying to bring on more people and all, and so it's just tough for them. But, you know, the cost is going up, but we still, right now, we're trying to make sure that we're good stores of taxpayers' dollars, and so we're trying to get everything we can out of each dollar that we spend. But, but you know, Wayne County, I've been coming down here since this thing started. You know, y'all do a great job. And, um, you know, I was down here meeting the other day on the bridge project that's out there and the detour that's going around. You know, Representative Nimmer and them have uh, come and talked to us. Uh, you know, we started out with a 38-mile detour, and now we got it down to 17. And uh, we're going to try to condense that down to between four and six months. So those are the type of things. Contract, contract, um, concentrating right now on maintenance and operations, trying to make sure we go back in, especially from a safety standpoint. That's one of the things we're looking at with all these bridges to make sure that they're safe around the state, as well as being able to go back in there and do any kind of expansions that we need to look at. And again, those comments Jay Ross with the DOT. Once again, it was the 13th annual day for Wayne held this past Thursday down at the Clanton River Ranch, and they're already planning next year's event. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. In today's financial market, it's getting more and more difficult to find a place to do your banking that doesn't make you feel like you're just another number. Altamaha Federal Credit Union is different. Different because with us, you're not just a number on an account, not just a customer, you're a member, a part of things. And as a member, you have a say in how things are run. That way you always get the service you want and deserve. We're folks you know, local folks you trust, and we're here when you need us. Come by one of our convenient locations or visit us online at altamaha.org and become a part of something great. Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowisi, and Screven. Hospitals, places where healing happens. They foster health and represent hope. From providing treatment and comfort to the sick, 
to welcoming new life into the world. Hospitals are mainstays in healthy, optimistic communities. Being technologically savvy and having equipment rivaling that of large hospitals, Wayne Memorial offers cutting-edge procedures with world-class personalized care. Such care is provided by a team consisting of specialists, driving in from larger hospital systems, as well as our local physicians we've come to know so well. Healthcare delivered locally saves a patient time, money, and the hassle of traveling out of town. We are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You have a choice in your health care, and we thank you for choosing us every day. Wayne Memorial Hospital, caring for the community. Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., a joint meeting set between the IDA and the county commissioners as they want to discuss the possibility of eliminating an energy excise tax, which they state is currently being imposed here in Wayne County. Both the IDA and the commissioners believe the tax is preventing potential industries from moving into Wayne County. Topic was brought up at for discussion at the county commissioners meeting the county administrator luther smarts expected to bring the numbers to the meeting on how much money would be lost to the county if the tax is eliminated the meeting again set for tomorrow at 9 a.m at the industrial development office also meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m is the wayne county board of education items of business on their agenda include recognition of the cpr grant approval of the georgia power agreement approval of land sale at resolution approval of the september financial report Discussion about the James E. Bacon modernization process. Discussion of a strategic plan progress update. Also approval of policies. Also an executive session to discuss personnel. Approval of personnel. All that's set for tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center located at 1365 West Orange Street. The Wayne County High School Drama Department is headed to state competition this Saturday in Warner Robins to compete for a state title as they are the region winners in their one-act play entitled Our Place. Play will be performed one more time for the general public this Thursday as they will perform it one final time before they head to state. Showtime is 7 p.m. at the high school. Tickets will be sold at the door on Thursday. Doors open at 6 p.m. Tickets are $5 each. The play involves a cast of 14, a crew of 19 dedicated students who have worked extremely hard to get ready for the state performance. The play is five individual scenes and a group epilogue that gives reasons both humorous and serious as to why a dock on a lake is special to five groups of people. In doing so, the play urges us to examine our own special places more fully. Once again, the play will be performed this Thursday, 7 p.m. at the high school auditorium. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. In today's financial market, it's getting more and more difficult to find a place to do your banking that doesn't make you feel like you're just another number. Altamaha Federal Credit Union is different. Different because with us, you're not just a number on an account, not just a customer. You're a member, a part of things. And as a member, you have a say in how things are run. That way, you always get the service you want and deserve. We're folks you know, local folks you trust, and we're here when you need us. Come by one of our convenient locations or visit us online at altamaha.org and become a part of something great. Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowisi, and Screven. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, our 60 and higher insulation values, thermal pane windows, and energy efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Faye, or Sheridan today. This is Bill Parker with Parker Insurance and Realty, your locally owned and operated independent insurance agency. We specialize in home, auto, commercial, ATV, motorcycle, and boat insurance. Being an independent agency, we have the ability to find you the best price available to suit your insurance need. At Parker Insurance and Realty, we can help you package your insurance or find the specialty insurance required to get you covered. We are your source for any real estate needs, whether buying or selling, we can help you. Give us a call today so we can discuss your insurance or real estate needs. Parker Insurance and Realty, 265 South Macon Street, 427-9345. That's 427-9345. 
Wayne County Chamber of Commerce wants to thank all those who attended this past weekend's Rhythm on the River. Again, the featured band was Wayne County's own second chance. Chamber now getting ready for the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce annual Christmas parade. Set for Saturday, December 5th. It's underway at 7 p.m. Lineup will be at 5.30 that day. The deadline to enter is December 2nd. Theme is traveling home for a southern Christmas. Again, if you'd like to be a sponsor of the parade or make an entry into the parade, that's just simply call the Chamber of Commerce at 427-2028. Once again, the parade set for Saturday, December 5th in downtown Chester beginning at 7 p.m. This Saturday, the city of Scriven getting ready for their ghost light light run event set for Saturday, November 14th. For over 125 years, the famous Scriven Ghost Light has been seen floating along the railroad tracks on Bennett Road between Scriven and Jessup. The city of Scriven and the Wayne County Board of Tourism have teamed up to give walkers and runners a chance to see the light, hosting the second annual Ghost Light 5K run in a one-mile run and walk. It's set for this Saturday, November 14th. The Ghost Light run will be a night run with registration beginning at 5 p.m. The Landlord run will begin at 6 p.m. Ghost Light 5K begins at 6.30 p.m. Participants who are pre-registered will receive a t-shirt and others is available. Participants also receive a glow necklace and bracelet for the event. The route will be lit with solar lights and the route will take participants to the actual ghost light site. Volunteers will be along the route to assist runners. Entry into the event is $20. Again, the registration after the 6th of November is $25. Entry forms are available at Scriven City Hall. The tourism board office at the Jessup Train Depot or online at actor.com. Entry forms may, may be emailed to those interested. If you need more information, simply contact Scriven City Hall, the number 579-2211, the Wayne County Board of Tourism, the number 427-3233, or event organizer Kathy Broadhead, the number is 427-4707. Once again, the Ghost Light Run set for this Saturday, November the 14th. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Cool weather, football, and beautiful foliage make fall the best time of the year. But it's never a good time to be out of money. Let First Franklin Financial breathe life into your empty wallet. 